and this one is designed uh, or is intended to take the file that we first created in Microsoft Streets and Trips and exported to GPX and then used uh, GPS Babel to convert it to a new GPX file and that's my um, Garmin connecting, that's the picture you see. <coughs> um, now we're going to use Basecamp to import the file that GPS Babel created. So we're going to start Basecamp. This, this definitely assumes you have Basecamp installed. If you don't, you need to Google Garmin Basecamp and download it. It's a free program. If you have a Zumo, you really need Basecamp. It's, the, it's Garmin's uh, solution for communicating with the GPS device. They've, I believe they've abandoned MapSource. So Basecamp is starting. Now with Basecamp you either need to buy Garmin Lifetime Maps, which I have done and I highly recommend. It's a bargain. I mean it's a bargain compared to buying the updates. When you, when you buy a Zumo you would think that'd be enough, but you need to buy Lifetime Maps or you need to always have your Zumo plugged in when you use Basecamp. So if you're really going to use Basecamp I highly recommend buying Garmin's Lifetime Maps. That allows you to install the maps on the computer itself. Uh, that installation process is can be very long, can be hours, uh, and the process itself is beyond the scope of this uh, demonstration. So we have Basecamp running. We're going to use File. Sorry, we're going to select My Collection. We're going to choose File import into my collection and we're going to choose the GPX file that GPS Babel exported which is down here it's the Calabasas to Las Vegas and the BC for Basecamp. I'll show you what happens if you try to ex import the one that Streets and Trips created. That's the ST file right here there it says, unknown error opening import file. That's as good as it gets. So we'll go back and we'll import the one that GPS Babel created. And there it is, right here. And there's the trip. Let's roll this thing down so we can see it. Now if you notice the trip doesn't follow the roads, let the screen catch up here, it's just a straight line between the stopping points and it's taking a while for Basecamp to repaint the screen. It's fairly annoying. So in order to fix that, you would double click on the trip down here in the bottom. Basecamp is busy thinking. There we go. Now it's catching up. So you'll notice it goes from the start to the point. It doesn't follow the roads. That's just a feature of calculation. So you would double click on the trip and go down here and click recalculate. This will cause it to follow the roads. Now it may or may not mirror the route that Streets and Trips suggested because of course Basecamp does its own routing based on the maps you have installed. In my case the current maps are uh, so it's okay here we go it's recalculated so you can exit that window. Now you see it follows the roads it follows you know, 210 to the I-15, basically. Um, now, in my case, the maps are City Navigator North America NT 2013.3, which is the current um, base camp maps, or current Garmin maps, and by current, this is the 28th of December, 2012. The data you see over here under Devices indicates I have my Zumo plugged in. 
So to move this map to my Zumo, I would I would right click on it down here. Oops, right click on it and say send to. And I would send it to my user data card, which is the SD card you have in your Zumo. If you have a Zumo, you need to have an SD card in it to store things like music and books and and user maps because you will quickly run out of internal storage. So go to the store and get a 16 or 32 gigabyte micro SD card and plug it in. Okay, so I told it to send it there. You can see its user data is lighting up over here. Now it's there. We are basically done. This is on well, we can uh, exit out of Basecamp, and we're basically done. Now, to get to get the file to be visible and use it for a root on the Zumo, you have to do what's called import it. I do not know how to show you that on video, but it's fairly straightforward. Go to your Zumo, choose Tools, My Data, Import, Roots, and it will show you the roots that it has stored on its SD card. It will take a while to import it and you do have to shut the Zumo off and reboot it. Don't just unplug it from the PC. So that's the end of this video. I hope it helped you.